Oh, you made it. Please, come in. I'm Dr. Cato. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Go ahead and take a seat on the couch. I will be with you in just a moment. Here, I've prepared us some tea for today. Careful, it just came off the stove. Hmm? What's the problem? You looked confused. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see now. Yes, this is my house. I know many therapists conduct their practice in office buildings and medical centers. I prefer a more inviting environment. And since I love my work, why not bring it home with me? I want to ask you a few questions for my notes. Don't worry. This is just some basic information. Nothing complicated for someone like you. Is that all right? Splendid. For starters, what is your full name? And your date of birth? Gender? Are you, or have you ever been, on medication for any mental illnesses? And finally, any other medical conditions I should be aware of? Good. That will be it for now. See? <laughs> you did marvelous. Now, I want to discuss something important before we start. Oh, we don't need to talk about payment yet. That can be sorted later. Rather, I'm aware you reached out to me for a session, but I want to inform you of a choice you have. I actually offer two kinds of sessions. You're probably familiar with the formal practice of conversational therapy, which you requested. However, I do have a second option. What is it? <laughs> it's just a variation of mine. To newcomers, it may feel a bit uncomfortable, but it has shown remarkable results. Although, if you don't feel like trying it, I completely understand. I will just as happily give you a normal session. I wouldn't want to go into too much. It may ruin the practice if you know too many details. What I will say is that I have been doing it for a very, very long time. Lots of my past clients agree it's helped them tremendously. Ah, so that's who recommended me to you. <laughs> yes, I've been seeing them for quite some time. And they're among many of my other clients who prefer my way. You'd like to try? Excellent. Your tea looks to be cooled now. Please, have some. Mmm, refreshing. So, why don't you tell me why you wanted to visit me today? What's troubling you? I see. It's no wonder you're so stressed. Don't worry. We will get this sorted out together. Did you like the tea? Personal favorite of mine. It's chamomile with a hint of lavender. Very soothing for the mind. Now, why don't you take a seat next to me? Oh. 
Oh, dear, there's no need to be tense. You're in a safe space, and I am here to help you. See? So, are you ready to start? Very well. I want you to lay your head down on my lap. You said you trust me, didn't you? Come on, rest yourself on my thighs. I won't bite. Are you comfortable? <laughs> Good. Next, I want you to close your eyes. Now, take a few deep breaths with me. In. Out. In. Out. Very good. Keep going. Relax your muscles. Let go of all the tension you are holding. Feel your body press against the cushion and your head into my thighs. That's it. Let my voice guide you. Feel the calmness wash over you. With each breath, another loving caress. Good. I'm going to count down from five now. And with each number, I want you to feel the weight of that comfort grow until you can no longer move. Five. Another wave of rest rushes over you. So heavy, but so comfortable. Four. The weight continues to grow, inviting you to stay in its warm embrace. Three. Your mind is being pulled deeper into the drift. Just floating away into a sea of nothingness. Two. Your body feels so heavy. You can't move your arms or legs. But... It's okay. Just let the weight of comfort hold you. One. There we go. All snug and relaxed. Mmm, finally. <laughs> Can you guess who I didn't wish to explain, human? It's so exhausting needing to hide my appearance. But it's necessary, I suppose. Mind flayers have such a bad reputation these days. Oh, how adorable. You're so blissfully unaware of everything going on. Completely at my mercy. Hmm, you should consider yourself lucky. 
Most of my kind would gladly take this opportunity to devour your thoughts. Even now, I find the urge to make you my personal thrall is so persuasive. But I'm not like most mind flayers. Those days are long past me. Corrupting minds is far too easy. Fixing a fractured mind, however, what better challenge is that? Now, let's see where all your problems lie. What's going on in that precious little head of yours? Oh, it is such a mess. It's so fragmented, disorienting. This will not do at all. <laughs> no need to wince. Relax. I am just observing. The human brain is so interesting, isn't it? Other animals only think about three things. Food, Reproduction and survival. Anything else is simply pointless. But humans, they have so many other intricate thoughts running rampant. Like children without their mother to guide. Like this one here. Concerned people are noticing your flaws. Everyone is so critical of you. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on a secret. Everyone feels that way. In fact, People are so concerned about their own image that no one has the time to judge your own. Goodness, there are so many of them. How long have they been festering? What to do, what to do? I could simply erase those thoughts of yours, but what would you gain from it? You would simply just develop them again and start all over. No, there's no need for that. I have a different solution. Adjusting a few things. Hold still. I know it must feel strange, but I'm almost there. Perfect. You did well, dear. You don't need to worry. I gave your consciousness what you would call a little breathing room. 
Now, those intrusive thoughts of yours won't taint any of those other pretty little ideas floating around. I'm going to slightly release my hold on you. Your mind needs time to accept the change. However, I'm going to indulge myself for just a moment. I want to watch your thoughts float for a while. Mm, much better. This is how a human mind is supposed to be. Filled with free and vibrant thoughts. Oh, there is one now. So colorful, lively, I dare say almost elegant. With a hint of complexity. Rare for someone of your species. Another one. My, my. If I had to guess, you're someone who enjoys expressing their creativity. Is that true? If there is one kind of thought that I adore the most, it is one that comes from creativity. The way your ideas dance with each other, sharing and discovering something others cannot. My goodness. I didn't realize you had those dark rings around your eyes. Have you not been sleeping? Those thoughts really were troubling you. Oh, you poor thing. Why didn't you see me sooner? Don't tell me you are one of those people who believes in burdening people with your problems. That explains it. Honey, you are a social creature. Your kind is meant to interact with each other. Through the good, and the bad. That is how you learn. And that is how you grow. You shouldn't suffer alone. But you're here now. That's the important first step to take. Funny. I tend to feel no particular way towards humans. I've always seen them as a way to entertain me and my vices. But with you, I don't feel that way. I find myself caring for your well-being. A part of me wishes to make you mine, but I don't want to risk losing any of those precious ideas of yours. I will just have to settle with our sessions for now, anyway. Oh. Is our session over already? All right. What a shame. I was 
was beginning to enjoy myself. Listen carefully when I snap my fingers. You will slowly wake from your slumber with a clear mind. Are you ready? Three. Slowly starting to gain a little bit of consciousness. Starting to feel a little bit less flirty. Working your way up, up, up. To still visualizing that going up, further and further up, that heaviness slowly fading away, slowly melting from your limbs and your body, your eyelids growing lighter and lighter, slowly starting to stir, Feeling refreshed, feeling at ease, waking up for me with that clear mind, and one. <laughs> well, hello. Careful. Let your head adjust for a moment. You don't remember. You were having your session and you fell asleep in my lap. I'm guessing your body needed to catch up on some much needed rest. Oh dear, no need to apologize. You felt comfortable enough to finally go to sleep. How could I refuse you such a luxury? How are you feeling? Any changes in your mind? That's wonderful. I'm glad you're already starting to show results. But if it's alright with you, I'd like to schedule another visit. We're off to a good start, but we need to continue if you want to stay feeling this way. Splendid. What does your schedule look like as of now? Are weekdays okay with you? Does next week work with you? Same time? Next week it is. Let me mark you on my calendar. What do you owe? Don't you remember? You paid me before we began our session. Yes, dear. <laughs> Goodness, you really needed that nap, didn't you? There's no need to worry about that. It's all taken care of. Unfortunately, our time is up. Shall I walk you to the door? For the next week, I want you to practice balancing your life with some self-care. Treat yourself to your favorite food, watch a film, enjoy an evening with your friends. And no extra work. Understand? Good. If something happens before our next session, you have my number in case you need to see me. Alright? No. Thank you for coming. Take care now. Drive safe. Stay safe.